hello my purposeful family are you doing hope you are doing wonderful so god wants me to share this great message with you however first god wants me to share this funny joke with you <laughs> do you know god speaks broken english mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean like seriously like for instance now when i'm scared right god's like don't be scared they no reach I'm, like, <laughs> I'm with you no shake it i mean i'll just start laughing like my fear will just turn to laughter like god knows how to ease tension like for real so whenever you're afraid remember god saying they're no rich i'm greater than them <laughs> then keep calm mm -hmm. Like, God is really funny. Like, when you get to know him personally, hmm, you realize that hmm, he's funny. Another one. So, you know, I moved to a new place. So, my new room, right? I called this company to do a doorknob, right? Then, like, just change the doorknob to, into a key so I can be closing, I can be locking my room so they sent this guy hmm. and this guy was doing it and he was asking oh do i live alone i said no fyi if you invite an opposite sex to your house hmm, never say you are alone hmm. they can rape you or do anything bad to you so always act like someone is in the house with you hmm. it's god that gave me this idea so i was the only one at home and you know god helped me to act like other people were home so he was doing the doorknob and he was like asking questions like, oh what do you do for a living you know so i told him so he figured that i'm a rich lady hmm. then he was asking oh do you have family like in other words am i married hmm. and i said no then he said he's single and the way he said it I'm very much single and he dragged that single word I'm like no I was just laughing you know in my mind I'm like just do my doorknob and get the hell out of here you know so it was done and he was entering his car to go then I said bye to him and I told him he did a great job that I would call him later for other doorknobs in the house you know add keys to the other rooms you know then he said no call me for a drink <laughs> in my mind i was like did this guy just eat on me hmm. so i ignored him you know i went into the house later during the day i received a text from him asked me out for a drink and i was so mad i was like like what is wrong with this guy so you know god revealed his agenda like he sensed i'm rich he's thinking of dating me, think of asking me out, you know, I was so mad, like, all people was like, girl, you know what to do, block his number, so I blocked his number, because if I don't, it's gonna keep on sending stupid texts, you know, so I blocked him, you know, see, we need to know the difference between God's man and the devil's man, mm -hmm. you can tell this one was sent by the devil, like, distracting me with texts, I mean, like, he doesn't even take no for an answer, like he's like he's after what i have not who i am he's not even a christian like god revealed it to me and god provided confirmation don't date someone that is not approved by god stay away it will distract you from your destiny so after some few days later i was at work right this guy used another number and he texted me again oh god i was really pissed i was like hmm holy spirit god is like you know what to do just block his number don't let him get in your head <laughs> so just ignore him like god was just telling me just think of it as a random sales guy you know so you know i don't like when guys don't don't take no for an answer i mean they flat out disgust me like for real like they think it's cute to keep you know pursuing that girl that is never interested in you like no i'm not interested Stop pestering my life. In fact, I made up my mind. I won't even call him for the other doorknobs. You know, I'll call another company. Like, seriously, stay away from distraction. Don't let the devil deceive you and tell you, oh, give him a chance. No, no, no. There's some people you give a chance. There's some people you run. This one, you run. 
it's after riches not after you you know it's devil sent you know when you sense a red flag god is telling you something stop it before it catches fire now let's move on to the other aspect of god's message for today and first of all how do you know is the right spouse for you first of all god will give you a confirmation did god tell you is the one another thing you know the devil was telling jesus in the bible if you are the son of god turn this stone into bread first of all jesus is a bread the devil is saying rubbish like when you know you are bread you don't you don't reach out to the devil to get bread like you can't give me what i already have what i already am i am bread i'm not going to relate with stone think about relationship some people know their worth that is why they don't date stones like if you know you are bread you don't date stones you wait for a bread spouse so when you have a relationship with god you won't date someone that does not have a relationship with god yes bread cannot mix with stone stone people can have bread shape but they don't taste like bread like be careful of who you date you are bread you are valuable don't date stones and don't make a stone a bread mm -hmm. you can't give what you don't have like a stone person cannot be turned into bread like seriously don't try to date a stone person thinking you will try to make them into a bread no 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 it's not your job to fix people let god fix them and one of the greatest miracles god did for me hmm, was not letting me marry my ex fiance hmm. like he was a stone and i was a bread he was a stone trying to deceive me that he was a bread then when i dug deeper i realized he was a stone pretending to me that he was a bread like stone means no relationship with god bread means relationship with god now if i had married him that would have destroyed my life my destiny my purpose i will not be here today but god saved me from marrying him so think about it i have a relationship with god he does not and i was trying to get him to have one he can't give me what he does not have i knew what i had because you know i knew what i had like i had a relationship with god and i wanted someone that had it too so how do you know someone has a relationship with god it's because you have one like the more i was with him the more i was convinced he did not have a relationship with god god showed me the signs god revealed it to me god provided confirmations you know now the problem is that so now the problem people the problem people make is they marry a stone thinking they will try to make them a bread mm. for some people for 15 years in their marriage they have been trying to turn their husband into a bread like trying to turn their husband into someone that will have a relationship with god but it's not working and they are miserable they cannot divorce him because they are thinking about what people will think about them that is why it's important don't marry someone that is a stone since you are a bread in other words don't marry someone that does not have a personal relationship with god and don't think you can make them or change them to have one no 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 bread stick with bread stone stick with stone so anytime i talk to my ex fiancé about deep things of god he does not understand because he's a stone the worst part he didn't even care to understand that's why when i broke up with him and i tried to explain the reason why according to his own understanding because if i try to explain it according to a bread understanding it won't get it because it's a stone so god says an unbeliever cannot understand a believer no matter how you try an unbeliever will remain in their own wise state of mind we'll continue the next video